All right, so we're only two weeks into prediction videos here on the era. But we've already talked about three teams in the Sunshine States. I'm talking Florida at number 19, Miami, and the Swamp. I've been looking forward to this game for months. It's going to be absolutely electric. I'm so excited, so giddy for this game. Why? Because the Swamp at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium is one of the best and most intimidating environments for opposing teams to go into in college football. Uh, it's, there's, there's nothing like it when they play Won't Back Down by Tom Petty during the game, and you, and you just hear the chorus of all the Gator faithful singing along to it. <laughs> me chills those kinds of atmospheres that's what college football is all about that's why me and college football fans around the nation and around the world watch the game it's for atmospheres like that in games like this a battle between two sunshine state teams that have a deeply rooted long history with each other florida even when they're not that good when the record's not that great they're always dominance in the swamp which is why i had to put a lot of thought into this game and and i honestly i didn't really make my pick for this game until about five minutes before i made this video that's how tough it is miami only favored to win this thing by two and a half let's examine floor a little bit um pop the hood open see what's under the hood of this vehicle that is the florida gators so they have an over under win total this year of four and a half and, you know, if you've been alive for the past 25 years, just seeing that kind of number associated with the Florida Gators is, is eye-opening. Um, it's, it, it's astonishing, to be honest with you, because, you know, especially being someone that grew up in the 2000s, I always associated Florida with dominance. And just seeing that number, four and a half next to them for an over-under win total, like, that's, I never thought I'd see the day. But you've got to give this context, too. Florida... From a talent standpoint, they're a top 25 team in the nation. There's no denying that. They, they have the bodies to get this done and to pull this win off against Miami on Saturday. But they have a daunting schedule this year. And it begins on Saturday against arguably the best team in the ACC. I'm going to be honest. I, I think Miami can be that this year. Florida has several things going their way on Saturday with how loud it's going to be in the swamp, there is inevitably going to be communication issues with the Hurricanes, especially early on in the game. The differentiating factor to me in this matchup is the pressure that's on both these teams. Let me explain. Florida has an immense amount of pressure on their program this year. It takes the oxygen right out of the room. Because the past two seasons, for the talent they've had, they've underperformed. And they know that if they if they don't perform again this year, it's likely that Billy Napier is going to get fired. And nobody wants to see that. Nobody in the program wants to see that. And so they know that they have to deliver, that they have to execute for, for his sake. But the challenge that's up against them is so grand. And they know going into Saturday that if they lose this game at home in the Swamp to Miami – it doesn't get any easier, and you could very well be looking at a five and seven or four and eight season. It's, a, it's you gotta you gotta set the tone on on Saturday for the Gators. It's so incredibly imperative to do so. But because of that, there's that there's that pressure on them, and when you have pressure on you, I haven't seen what this Florida team is made of yet this year. When you have that pressure on you, you can play tight. So in Florida's case, is the pressure going to make a diamond, or is the pressure going to make a dud? We're going to have to see, are they going to play tight or are they going to use that pressure to motivate them? I think Graham Mertz is a very underrated quarterback, and if this offensive line can, get, can give him any mercy, I think Florida has a chance. But you got to keep in mind that Florida's offensive line is going against an amazing Miami defensive front. Miami, 
Two words I can use to describe this Miami team going into the season. Calm confidence. It's been a lot of optimism. It's been a lot of positivity coming out of Miami's fall camp. They know what they have. They know what they have under the hood. And I think it's a Maserati. There's people out there who still think it's a Toyota Camry. This thing's a Maserati. Miami has an SEC caliber roster. Nobody believes it, but they're going to see. And on top of that, they have a transfer quarterback from Washington State and Cam Ward that's going to turn heads being on that Miami platform this year. He's hyper-athletic, great passing skills, can scramble well, can escape you to see has all of the attributes. He's smart, has great judgments. You're going to see him develop into a star this year. You are going to know who Cam Ward's name is at the end of the season, and and I think that you're going to see him go to the Heisman Trophy ceremony. I really do. Miami knows what they have. They're, they're, they're going to play loose because I don't think they have the same pressure on them that Florida has, but they, they know what they have. They can take risks, and I think those risks are going to pay off a lot for the Hurricanes. I think this is going to be an absolute bloodbath of a game. I think it's going to be an absolute battle, and we're going to be very entertaining on Saturday. But ultimately, I like Miami to go into the swamp and make a statement. Positive things will be said about the Canes after this game. They're going to win this thing 24-20, to 20, and Miami's magical season will start in Gainesville. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and the time that you took out of your day to watch the video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video and share it, as well as subscribe to The Era. The more likes and subscribers I get on this channel, the more resources I can attain, and the more resources I can attain, the more value I can provide to you, the viewer. And that is how I show my appreciation for you for the time that you devote to watching my videos. So thank you so much, and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and the time that you took out of your day to watch the video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video and share it, as well as subscribe to The Era. The more likes and subscribers I get on this channel, the more resources I can attain, and the more resources I can attain, the more value I can provide to you, the viewer. And that is how I show my appreciation for you for the time that you devote to watching my videos. So thank you so much, and have a great day.